Hi, and welcome to Columbia College's online program. We're so happy to have you on board. Your instructor, in an effort to better prepare you for the research expectations of this program, has asked Eden's Library to prepare a tutorial video to guide you through the use of the Homeland Security Digital Library Database. Each and every one of your instructors, as well as the librarians, realizes that doing research in an online environment can feel a bit daunting. So what we'd like to do is provide an overview of how to navigate this very important research database. To access this database, you'll first need to get to the library's website. To get to the library's website from Koala Connection under Quick Links, click on Library or point your browser to libguides.columbiasc.edu forward slash library. Then click the Databases tab, then the blue Go to A through Z list button. Since you know the name of the database, you can just click on the letter H to quickly get to it. When you click on the database name, you'll be taken to the off-campus access screen. Simply follow the instructions by entering your full Columbia College email address and password, and that should get you into the database, but if it doesn't, contact us and we'll see if we can get it resolved. This is the screen you should see once you've successfully logged in. Notice there's an advanced search option, which you're more than welcome to explore, but for today, we'll just demonstrate a basic search and show you ways to narrow that search. Let's say you're interested in the topic of using drones for homeland security. While it may be tempting to type in the entire phrase, drones for homeland security, we would encourage you to initially keep your search terms very simple rather than using whole phrases, sentences, or questions. Also, since this is a database that deals specifically with the topic of Homeland Security, there's no need to specify that. So we'll just keep it simple for now and use the word drones and click search. As you can see, at nearly 5,000 results, that can seem like a daunting amount to sift through. However, there are a few ways we can narrow our search. There are several search filters you can apply. However, the two which will probably be most useful to you are Resource Type or Special Collection and Publisher. The Resource Type or Special Collection filter contains a variety of different information sources. Feel free to ask your instructor which of these he or she would most recommend since they're the subject matter expert. The number next to the resource type refers to the number of items available out of the original 4800 search results. And, as you can imagine, the Publisher filter contains information from a variety of different publishers. You'll notice that many of these are government resources. Again, your instructor will be the best source to consult on which of these would be most recommended. Another way you can narrow your search is to add a second search term to the word drone. But how do you know what else to add? A good idea would be to think about what particular aspect of this topic that we are interested in. In this case, the news is actually a good place to turn. As a serious student pursuing a degree in emergency management, you are likely very aware of current affairs within the field. However, if you find yourself struggling to narrow the focus of your research, try doing a search on Google News to get a feel for what's being debated right now. Oftentimes, just checking out a few brief headlines can yield some additional words and ideas that can be used as your second search term, like this. Let's focus our search on drones and privacy. Notice I've placed the connector AND between our search terms. This is important because it tells the database we want articles that contain both search terms. In other words, we're being a little pickier, so it stands to reason that our results will be smaller in number, in this case 1029. However, 1029 is still a pretty big number, so feel free to either connect a third search term, don't worry, you won't break the database, or use one or more filters to continue narrowing your search results. In this case, we'll narrow by resource type and select journals and articles. Now, with only 97 results, you can really begin in earnest to look through our results and see which articles will be most helpful. As you can see, the articles are made available in PDF format, 
so it will open just like any other PDF. One helpful feature we'd like to point out is Open Abstract. When you click that, a screen containing the abstract or synopsis of the article, as well as other helpful citation information, comes up. Should you decide to use this article as one of your sources, all of the information you would need to properly cite it is there. The Homeland Security Digital Library Database does have a link that takes you to a few pointers for help with citation. However, if you're looking for online help with citations, we would recommend the OWL at Purdue or whichever source your instructor recommends. Just Google OWL at Purdue and the site will come right up. We hope this video has been helpful. If you need any further research assistance, please don't hesitate to either call us at 803-786-3703 or email us at refdesk at columbiasc.edu.